Hello guys, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Smart Programmer. I hope you all are fine. Today I'm back with a new video and in this video we are going to create a graphical user interface countdown timer. So it's a very simple project and it's a beginner's level project. So without any further delay, let's jump into the coding part. Okay guys, as you can see on my screen that I already have typed few lines of code. So if you're familiar with the TK intro module, so you can easily understand these lines of code and they are of the primary importance in TK Inter. Without using these lines, we cannot even start the project. So first of all, I have imported the three modules over here. First is time. Then from TK Inter import static, which means that import everything. And then from TK Inter import message box. So in the next step, we are going to create the TK Inter window root. So for that, I have declared a variable called as root. And there I have assigned a method called TK. So now it's fetching the tk inter dot tk. So these are the parameters of the tk and it returns a top level widget on a screen, screen name. So, so basically it will create our window. So now let's move on to the next step which is to create the geometry. So this is the geometry like 300 width and 250 height. So now we are going to give the title to our window and by using the title method root dot title and which is smart time counter, right? So now I'm in the next step, I have changed the background color to black. And at the end, we have used this infinite loop, root.main loop, it, it is a required, like infinite loop, which is required to run the TK into program infinitely until an interrupt occurs. So if you do not use this loop, so program will not run. So let me show you the current window. And that's, so this is the size of the current window. So now let's move on to the main part of our program, which is to code for the main function of the timer. Okay, in this step, we are going to declare some of the variables used in this program. So our is string var, right? And then minute is also string var and then second. Because we are going to include all these uh, time formats, hours, minutes, and seconds. Which is also string form. Right. So in this step, we are going to assign these variables the default value, which is zero. So for that, our dot set and then zero zero. Same for minute dot set zero. and second dot set zero. now in this step we are going to use the entry class of the tk inter widget to create the entry feed so we can put our values there so for that i am using the entry class so for that i am creating a variable like our entry right and for that i'm using the entry class and and passing here the name of the window root and then now i'm passing the width width is equals to three and now i'm using the font arial <clears throat> 18 is the font size and arial is the font family and sorry and now the text variable is over right okay now this is the time to place this entry field in our tk intro window so for that i'm going to use the, the place method which is used to place any widget on the tk intro window by using the x-axis value and y-axis value so let's be with me and our entry dot place right and i'm giving here the value of x-axis 80 and y-axis 120 so now let's run it and see whether it is working or not so you can see here it is placing over here i think 120 is very much so i'm just giving 20 okay so now this is perfect so let's just copy this co code for a minute and for a second
okay guys now we are done with it so let's see the output <coughs> So as you can see here, these are the three entry fields where we will set our time. So now let's move on. Now it's time to create the button. So for that I'm using the button widget class. So like start btn is the name of my button. I'm using the button widget, right? And passing here root comma text is equals to start. Sorry, I have to put here the inverted commas. And now I am setting the width, which is like width is uh, about 15 and border. BD stands for border and border is like 2. Right? And now it's time to place that button. So start button dot place. Right? So X is equals to 70 and Y is equals to 120. Right? So now let's run it. You can see here start button is over here so I just want to move it a little forward with 90 Let's see so now it's perfect it's perfectly centered so now it is the time to write a code for the main function which is important for running this timer so let's create a function over here def and timer is the name of my function okay now I'm using the exception handler which is like try and accept try and then accept right so in try block we are going to declare a variable called temp so the whatever the input the user will put will be stored in that temp variable so temp is equals to so temp is equals to int over dot get multiplied by 360 3600 sorry plus int minute dot get multiplied by 60 plus int second dot get so this is the formula for calculating the time it's like hour has 3600 seconds minutes has a 60 seconds and second itself is a second so now okay now we are going to the accept part and if the user do not insert the value in the correct format then the accept portion will be executed and it will print like please enter the correct value right okay now i'm using the while loop while temp is less than minus one so i'm using here the minutes variable minutes and second actually i'm just declaring here and using the method div mode temp comma 60 so this is the explanation of div mode div mode is a built-in function for calculation so first value like temp is equals to temp which is divided by 60 and in second value we are taking the modulus of temp by the 60 so this is how this div mode works so in the next step we are going to convert our input minutes or seconds into hours so for that i am declaring a variable called as hours is equals to zero so if minutes so if minutes are greater than 60 then hours comma minutes is equals to div mode minutes comma 60 so in next step we are going to use the format method to store the value up to the two decimal places so for that our dot set and for that i'm using here curly braces and zero 2d okay and then put here dot format 
hours. So repeat the process for minutes and seconds. So just replace here. Now we are going to update our uh, GUI window after decrementing the temp value every time. So for that root dot update right and then time dot sleep for one second right. So when the value of temp is equals to zero then the message box will appear that it's times up. So if temp is equals to zero sorry equal equals to zero then message box dot show info give here the name of the message box like uh, alarm and give here the message times up right after every second the value of the temp will be decremented by one so for that we have to just put here the condition temp is minus equal to 1 that's it so this is the total code of our program and let's run it to see whether it's working properly or not so put here any value like I am putting here 8 seconds and let's start it so 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 times up so this is how we can create a simple GUI based countdown timer and I hope you like this video if you like this video please give a big thumbs up and share it with your friends so support my channel bye for now take care and Allah Hafiz